a plain phone case you don't mind covering up I actually took this busted one just to show you that it doesn't have to be a brand new case because it will be covered anyways I made a paper template of my phone and make sure it fits the phone case and then I took this fall fur which is an old west of mine and I traced the template I showed you by tracing the template I just made sure I had enough fabric to cover the whole case don't mind the two camera parts I made a mistake there but all you need to do is simply glue the fur to the case And don't forget to glue the sides too, and cutting the ends helps to make the fabric lay on the case better. Me. Lastly, cut off the excess fabric. You me. Now you can leave the case like this, but I decided to glue on some googly eyes too, but it's completely up to you. And that's the first case. I started off by drawing on drops of various sizes on a piece of paper and again make sure the template fits the phone case you're using. Now to achieve the melting effect I used resin I tried using glue but it destroyed the plastic on the case. Now it doesn't mean that only resin can work, I'm sure there are other substitutes that don't ruin the case but I personally haven't found a good one. So I just prepared resin by following the instructions and mixing the two components and then I just followed the template I made and put a little bit of resin on the drop and then spread and smooth it out the top part as you can see. Try to leave the biggest concentration of the resin on the bottom of each drop to achieve a realistic effect. And resin takes around 10 hours to dry and you need to repeat the layers a few times to really make this realistic. So this is a long process to do but it looks store bought in the end so I think it's worth it. So I just layered the resin a few times on the previous layer and after I was done I covered the whole thing in one thin layer of resin just to make sure everything is smooth. And again, you can leave the case like that, but I took this mirror paper and cut a piece big enough to fit under the case. And I just placed it between my phone and the case. I think this is my favorite case I made and how I did it is I first took various fake flowers and either just took only one flower from it or even cut and reshaped them to be small enough to fit my case. And you can use real flowers too but it's winter so there really wasn't anything outside for me to choose from. And you need to make all of the plants flat so I just flattened the flowers with an iron and some parchment paper. And here are all the plants I chose. Now take a clear phone case and first tape the flowers on it just to get a picture where you want to put each flower or leaf and once you know that put them in the inner part of the case and cover them with resin. You don't have to use resin if you don't have it, you can just put the plants under the case and then put the case on your phone and the flowers won't move but I wanted to make this as best as I could. After the resin is dry it looks like the flowers came with the case because the resin dried hard and it looked like plastic. For the wood effect I used some contact paper and I first made an outline of all flowers on the case so I know where to cut. After that I just cut out the windows for the plants. And then I just peeled off the sticker and placed it on the case, making sure each plant is visible. is 
the easiest one and I started off by taking a piece of plain white paper and then just painting various colors on it. I painted various shades of purple, pink and blue but you can choose whatever colors you want, of course. After it was dry it ended up looking like this. And now I took all of those papers and cut them into pieces of different shapes and sizes but not too big because again this needs to fit my phone. Then I picked out the pieces I liked the most and tried to assemble them the way I like them. After you know how it's going to be laid out, cut another piece of white paper that fits your phone case and just glue on all of those pieces. I also left a little bit of white space between the pieces just for a better look. And you can cover the whole paper if you want but I wanted to still see the phone through it. After that cut off the excess that may be sticking out and then cut off the white part you have left. And then I just put the design under the case and put my phone in the case. For this case you'll once again need a case template that you need to cut out of parchment paper and make sure it's a bit smaller than the case itself. Now take two pieces of plastic and put the parchment paper template between those two pieces, cover the whole thing with more parchment paper and iron it so the two plastic pieces melt and stick together but make sure to leave a little bit of space open so we can add the liquid. Then cut out the excess plastic if you have any. After you're done, take out the template and you have the plastic bag. So that's one way of making the bag. And the second method is using a bag sealer. And by using this, it really makes the whole bag look nicer. But of course, you can just use an iron too. It works the same. But I just wanted to make some use out of this machine because we don't use it anymore. As you can see in the end, the bags look pretty much the same. Now to make the diamond that floats in the liquid, I took more of that plastic and with a black marker I drew on diamond shapes. You can do any shapes you want. I also made one case with watermelon. And if you make a mistake or you just want a thinner line, you can scrape off the marker ink with a toothpick so that's how I made the lines really thin. And then just add the rest of the details on your drawing. After that, I colored the whole thing with white acrylic paint. After it's dry, cover the drawing with hot glue and I also took another piece of plastic and pressed the glue while it was still hot just to make it even and thinner. The glue doesn't take a lot to dry so you can peel off the designs almost immediately. Then cut off the excess glue you might have. Lastly, I glazed them with this polymer clay glaze, but clear nail polish also works perfectly. And there you go, you made the little charms or whatever these are. Now onto the liquid you'll put in the bag. So I used equal amounts of baby oil and water that I colored with some blue acrylic paint. Now to assemble everything, take the bag you made and first put a few of the charms. Then I took a few drops of the blue water and a few drops of the baby oil and put them in the bag. And what's left to do is close the open part of the bag and you're basically done. Just put the bag under the case and put it on your phone. It really shouldn't leak but just to be sure check first before putting it on your phone.
The last case is pretty similar to the previous one, but I just first drew on cactuses on a piece of masking tape and using my X-Acto knife I cut the drawings out. And again, you don't have to put cactuses, you can do whatever you want, but that's just completely unnecessary to say. After you cut all of them out, tape them on the inside of your phone case. And this case was inspired by one phone case I found on ASOS. I'll link it in the description box if I can find it. Then I used white acrylic paint with a sponge to paint the bottom part of the case. And make sure you do it on the inside of the case so the paint doesn't chip while wearing it on your phone. And for the top of the case I used grey paint and I also made sure that there is a nice gradient effect between the white and the grey just for a nice look. And off camera I painted the whole case one more layer of white just to make the grey a bit lighter but after this dry peel off the stickers but be careful not to chip the paint. The stickers should come off pretty easily. Then for the liquid part, I again made a plastic bag like before and I used some fine green glitter as well as green stars to fill the bag with. So I added a few scoops of glitter in the bag following with the stars. And I put a little bit of water in the case too, but make sure to put less water than me because I had a hard time putting my phone in the case since the bag wasn't very flat. Lastly, seal the open part so the water doesn't leak and put it between the case and you're done. 